Hey guys, Justin here and welcome back to another Justin on Cars video. This is going to be a full review of the 2.4 GT6 Toyota Hilux, another South African favorite. Before we get into this video guys, remember to like, subscribe and share and hit that notification bell so you can be notified on new uploads. So welcome to South Africa's favorite and let's get into it. So what a beautiful sunny day here in Costa Rica. Huh? I'm just kidding guys, it's Cape Town, South Africa of course, but it's a very beautiful sunny day. When I picked up the car, it was actually very, very misty, so we had to wait a little bit to actually get the sun shining. But now it's so bright, I actually hope you guys can actually see me because the sun is actually shining behind me. But nonetheless, let's get into this beautiful South African favorite Toyota Hilux, or the Helix. I'll show you why I call it the Helix just now. So this is the facelifted version of the Toyota Hilux. You'll see this one is the Raider edition. Obviously you get the Legend RS and all of that, but we're only focusing on this one today. This is a 2021 model, and this is basically almost all the in-between spec of the lower spec and the higher spec. So this is probably the most common one you will see on the road. This one is specced with the halogen lights in front, but it does have LED fog lights at the bottom. You'll see it does also have the PDC front and rear, and this one is specced with the reverse camera. I'll show you that at the back just now. One thing I really like about a Hilux Bucky is the fact that it's a Hilux Bucky. It's a Toyota and nothing else. It's not shared with any platform or anything. It is a Toyota Hilux Bucky. So built for a purpose, built to move your stuff around. It's built to work. It's built to being on a farm, on a mine, whatever the case may be. And you can take this car on a long distance drive and you will not be tired. I have not driven the 2.4 yet. I've only driven the 2.8, but the pre-facelift edition, the Legend 50, I would love to feel what this 2.4 four-cylinder engine feels like. So you guys are gonna obviously enjoy that with me. Before I go any further into the Toyota Hilux, let me know what you think about the Toyota Hilux and if you would rather take a Hilux or a Fortuner. It obviously depends on what you're gonna use it for, but let me know what you think in the comments. Let's have a walk around and show you the side and show you the back and then we'll jump inside the Hilux and take it for a drive. So having a walk around, you can see this Bucky is in tip-top condition. It's got about 80,000 Ks on the clock. I love these darker 17-inch rims. You'll see these rims are also on dealer or Bridgestone dealer AT tires. So very, very rugged and you can take these. It's an all-terrain tire. That's what the AT stands for and you can see the condition is very good and you can go anywhere with this. This is the 4x4 version, so not the raised body, but but it's 286 millimeters off the ground. There you can actually see the 286 millimeters off the ground. That's why you need this little step because guys, this really is quite high when you're a shorty like me. But look at the condition. This one also has smash and grab fitted and of course it has the canopy at the back so you don't have to worry about that. Let me just show you the fuel clap quickly. So this one doesn't have the comfort access or the keyless entry, but let's quickly open up there so that you pull there. So this does have an 80 liter fuel tank. So according to paper, you can get over a thousand kilometers on a 7.7 .7 liters per hundred kilometers. But that all depends on your driving. And yes, of course, guys, diesel. This is a diesel bucky. At the rear, you can see it's not a major, major difference from the pre-facelift. The only difference you'll see is like with the Legend RS or the higher spec, where this has got the LED rim on the outside. So this is your basic spec. So very, very similar, but you can sort of see the sort of elements of the facelift edition. This is why I called it the Helix. You can see it says H-I-L-L-I-X, but if you actually look at it from a distance over there, you can see it says H-I-L-U-X. They just split it there and now it looks like a Helix to me. Uh. Quite funny. <laughs> but there it also says Raider. You know this is Toyota Raider. Toyota Hilux Raider 4x4. It's also spec with your rear view camera over there. You do have your park distance control at the back and you've got a, like a tow bar where you can tow up to 3,500 kgs. Unbraked 750 kgs and braked 3,500 kgs. That's a lot guys. That's like almost double the weight of the Bucky. That is insane. Let's quickly open up at the back here. You'll see the condition of this rubber rising is still in very, very good shape. Check that out guys. And then let's open up here. Oy. Yo, everything is heavy in this Bucky. Such a nice feature. Wherever you're traveling, you always have this little picnic chair over here and it can take some weight, guys. This thing is very heavy. I'll show it to you when I close now, but you can actually get something to make it a little bit softer. So I know there's a mechanism they put in here. So as you open it up, it actually just opens up very softly. I can hear the echo in my ear actually, but it is very clean and very, very spacious, guys. So let's lift it up. Yep. <laughs> proper proper Toyota everything is heavy and it feels durable and you just hear the clank as soon as you close everything or as soon as you close it up 
Let's quickly have a look at the engine bay. Like I said, it's Toyota, so it's going to be heavy. Yes, like, yeah, it is very heavy, actually. There we go. Oh, pop that in there. Whew. So this is the 2.4 GD6 four-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine with 110 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque. This is the manual version and this has got six gears and about 7.7 .7 liters per 100 kilometers on your fuel consumption. That is what they claim. I don't think we need to care about the 0 to 100 in this bucket because it's not a, a bucket for speed or a bucket for dicing the beamers down the street. This is really a workhorse and purposely built for everyday use. So this is more than enough. We will take it out for a drive to actually experience what the power feels like. Like I know the 2.8 is definitely more than enough. When you put your foot down, you really, really feel the grunt of that car, especially if you press that power mode. It makes a big difference. I think it's just because it pushes up the revs a little bit higher. But we'll feel it with the manual now and truly experience what the 2.4 actually feels like. I just want you to hear this uh, quality again. This is very heavy, guys, but listen to this. I'm just going to drop it. Proper quality. Jumping into the Toyota Hilux. Hilux. Bucky. Sorry. <laughs> I keep on getting that wrong. Really feels very comfortable while I'm sitting here. I remember my experience with the Legend 50, the, the pre-face lift. It really felt phenomenal driving at long distance. So the ergonomics of the seat really feels fantastic. These are manual seats. These aren't the electric seats. But you can feel everything is quality in here. It really is stunning. Everything is where it should be. Your aircon, everything is here. Your diff lock is over here. Power mode. I love the fact that it's got a center armrest. Absolutely beautiful. I love the new layout as well. It really is stunning. There's a lot of plastics inside the Toyota, like I said, but it's because it is reliable and it is durable. This bucky will last you a lifetime. Here you have your high and low range as well. It's absolutely stunning. You've got a lack of big screen. You can see my headroom is also very, very spacious. I can really feel like I'm sitting inside a bucky. Let's quickly start it up, pop it in there. There we go. You guys will see this has got about 77,000 Ks on the clock. Oh, I like that. Toyota, it even says Toyota over there. Let's just put the volume down. 70, 77,859 Ks on the clock and look at this condition. Hey guys, beautiful condition. I really, really love this condition. There you can also see if your seat belts are on or if the rear guys are not wearing their seat belts so you can keep an eye on your kids over there. And it is touch screen, so I wanna see if I can go home so let's press on home. So yes, full touch screen. It has Bluetooth for audio and phone calls. So you can play your music in here. Uh, let's go to apps. You can know apps connected here currently. Menu, home. Very simple to use, very intuitive. There's your radio station. There's your latest fuel consumption. So currently it's standing at 9.6. Let's just go back quickly. There it shows 9.6 liters per 100 kilometers. Cruising range on a 55 kilometers. That's where it was tested out. So let's quickly click on there. See, very, very easy to use. You can even go into the history to see exactly what you've been using. Let's check on the inside. You can see this is also a little bit newer compared to your previous one. Here you get your high and low range diff lock. You can put your traction control off there, a USB charger over there. Here is your eco and power mode. And then you've got a center cubby over there. And of course, it is specced with the radar. It is standardly specced with your cloth seats. But it looks beautiful, guys. I mean, I can't complain about this. It looks nice and it's very comfortable to sit in here. One thing I also do like, like the Polo we reviewed last week, you also have a cubby over here for your sunglasses. I, I absolutely love that. A car really, really needs that. Let's check the cubby space. So I think if I open up this one, I get a top cubby space over there. And then I should possibly have a bottom one as well. So open up there. There we go. There's your bottom cubby. And then you get some space there to hide things. You get some cup holders over there, a cup holder over there. And then obviously on my side as well. It's an absolute stunning car, guys. I really, really like it. You even have two oh my gosh so i've got an oh my gosh over here and i've got an oh my gosh over here check on that side it is exactly the same so when you go off-road there's a lot of places to hold on to but this is actually for when you get in and out of the vehicle to make it a lot easier i love that sound proper bucky check how the car is shaking <laughs> 
on the steering wheel you can see all the controls over here so your different modes for telephone calls volume and everything and over here this is where we control the instrument cluster on the inside so i can go through various options over there my settings and whatever the case may be and then of course you have your cruise control over there so yes the Bucky also has cruise control very very nice and nifty feature it does have auto headlights so you just pop it down auto and the headlights will switch on automatically let's switch it off and jump into the back before we take it out for a drive Ugh, even here i've got some oh my gosh handles to help me into the bucky jumping into the back of the toyota Heli hilux sorry yes i keep on getting that wrong <laughs> You see I've got my oh my gosh handle over here as well. There's not really a lot of things at the back of the bucket. I've got some coat hangers over here where I can hang a few things. I do have some extra space over here to keep some files or documents or whatever the case may be. I do have my electric windows. So I do have more than enough at the back. And the fact that I'm sitting up quite high is very nice. It does make me feel comfortable in here. And you can see the headroom and legroom is more than enough space. Just want to show you my position from this side. So there you can see the front really looks neat, very proper. Here you can see my legroom, more than enough legroom over here. And check out how spacious this is. These seats are very comfortable and you can see how clean this car is even at 80,000 k's on the clock and of course I do have a little window here to open up to get a little bit of airstream over here but because the canopy is on obviously I do have that glass there but when the canopy is off I can talk to my friends or my dogs at the back there so let's close that Ugh. I think now let's finally take this baby out for a drive and feel what it feels like out on the road the 2.4 with 110 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque finally time to take it out for a drive let's start it up Hmm. Very nice. Or do they say very nice? Let's hit the first gear. Let's feel it, guys. Immediately just starting to drive the Bucky, you can feel it is a Bucky. I mean, at the end of the day, because it's such a higher vehicle, you will feel a little bit of that bouncing aroundness so you do, you do feel a little bit of that suspension but it feels solid you can feel it's not going to throw you over or anything like that i mean these cars are built not to be thrown over these cars are built to stand like this on the on a yield and not roll over but going over humps yo you really feel so boss in this bucky like i can feel that yo i'm a big boy now <laughs> let's put on this aircon i feel so big i'm getting hot i'm sweating very manly things are happening in this Bucky while I'm driving it. Uh -oh. One nice thing about a Bucky as well, everyone will see you coming. Even though this one is white in color, everyone will see you coming. This is very soft. I don't hear ka-cling, ka-cling, ka-cling like old Buckies and squeaky noises. And I mean, for a car that almost has 80,000 Ks on the clock, this is very, very solid. Now you can understand why the Hilux is so reliable and durable. I mean, you don't know what the previous owner did with this car. And if it still feels like the day it was brand new, then you must know. And even though it's a big bucket or a big car, you don't feel like you're in something massive. Taking corners or driving in the parking area, it feels comfortable. It feels like, it feels like I'm driving a car. So let's put my foot down. Wow, when the power kicks in, that 400 Nm of torque. Guys, I mean, and I've driven the 2.8 this 2.4 is not slow eh? yes when that turbo kicks in it feels like a power band on a two-stroke uh, motorcycle <laughs> i like this yo and i feel boss in this bucket eh? i can understand why people buy these things it's not always just to pull things around but it's also the status hey there we go so i'm gonna put my foot down i'll show you guys just now on the way back what it looks like but you can hear that diesel engine roaring yeah no it feels nice eh? this is really such a nice drive and it's got a one touch triple click so that's quite nice gears are very soft and smooth very easy to use let's see when i take this uh, circle over here how the turning circle is you see you can always stay in your lane it's not such a big car it really feels easy to drive and because you sit so high up and the visibility is so clear you can see everything around you and that makes the bucket feel a bit smaller so you don't feel like you're driving this massive thing it does feel a bit bouncy but not bouncy making me sick it's like a 
a comfortable bounce here. You can just feel you're sitting on higher suspension and that you can take on any, any road conditions. I just want to show you the power quickly. So I'm going to put my foot flat down in second gear. Yo, there it kicks in. Yeah, no, it really performs very, very well, guys. And honestly, that's not even in power mode. Yes, power mode on. Immediately I can feel the revs are quite high, like it feels much higher, like it keeps the, I don't know how to explain it, but like the, the I think the, the ratio of the revs, the gear ratio is much higher. So I'm in second gear now, let me take this turn, I put my foot flat down. I don't think it necessarily gives it more power, but it does feel like it's nippier. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know why it makes such a big difference, like I can't really tell you guys. Like I said, I don't think it gives it more power, but power mode, yo, it makes it feel like it's much more responsive. So I think your throttle response is also a lot quicker. Because I mean, if I put my foot down, uh, yeah, and they, it like it's very twitchy. Whew, it actually is such a nice drive. This Bucky, guys, you don't need more than the 2.4. I haven't taken this on a long distance now, overtaking fully loaded but if it's just like this if you're just going to take the kids back to school or load one or two things at the back you just need the space or drive around on your farm to move a few things this is more more than enough you really really don't need more than this just look at the clear blue skies today guys absolutely what a stunning day to do a review and a stunning day to go to the beach while we are in cape town so there we go guys that's the 2.4 gd6 toyota hilux bucky in a nutshell i have to be honest i absolutely don't see anything wrong with this and i was driving with the ac on and i am impressed with the power 400 newtons is a lot guys it is a lot so if you need any more information please contact me and i will get back to you guys about any specs or pricing or whatever the case may be but contact me if you want to get yourself into a bucky or any car of your dreams just moving this car around or the bucky around here clutch and everything is very smooth very easy to use it doesn't want to die on me the whole time power steering is very soft very very easy to use bucky stunning and there we go guys thank you very much for watching this video and guys thank you very much for all your support remember to comment or contact me if you guys are interested in a bucky or any vehicle of any sort and i can help you out you can just leave a comment below i'll give you my contact details and we can stay in touch guys thank you very much for watching also remember to like subscribe and share with your friends and hit that notification bell so you can be notified on more uploads coming soon have a lucky day guys stay safe peace